Assuming you want DeGrom back, how do you go about the negotiations? Do you do you draw a line if well, you're not going to go past? Or are you going to let it kind of play out and see what the other offers are, that type of thing? Well, I, 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 I think every negotiation you draw a line. I think every negotiation you draw a line. But a guy like that, you better have a line that stretches out as far as you can because he is such an important part of what your team and what you, 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 the, the success. He's the... You, you're building everything around him, let's be honest. And the, to me, but you have to draw a line. But the most important thing is not only drawing the line, what is plan B? And when do you act upon, upon plan B? And you need to kind of say, okay, I'm, it's, you can't wait all the way till the end because plan B may be gone. Yeah. So you got to have be able to make that decision. That's an, uh, an executive decision that takes, you got to be, you know, focus, plan it, and act upon it. We know the Mets have Edwin Diaz. You got to be careful, though, when you're giving out big money deals to these relievers. You know firsthand, 2009, K-Rod, J.J. Putz. I remember the billboard driving past brand new city field. Come see these guys. Didn't work out the way that you thought. Diaz was great, but would you be concerned about giving big long-term deals to relievers? Yes, big time concern. Because to me, relievers, and you know the heart, relievers is like, it's hard. That's one area that's hot and cold. Just look around on the history. The first year, nobody liked Diaz. Today, we all love him. Right. You know, so let's think about that. Everybody's killing, you know, how can you trade Kellenic for Diaz? Well, today, thank you for trading Kellenic for Diaz. That's how it is. So understand that reliever is such a volatile highs and lows. So you really got to be careful. And that's one of the things going into next year. When you look at that whole relieving staff, you're bringing in new guys, and you're bringing in new guys to New York. Right. Think about that. It's not only really, you relieve in another place, you relieve in New York, it's total different than any other place in baseball. This past trade deadline, the top three for the Mets couldn't touch him, but what about next trade deadline? Do you think that they could be moved or they could be dealt in a trade? Well, John knows me. I, I don't. I think when it comes to <laughs> prospects, um, I, I, I'm like, hey, you know what? Prospects can become suspects, but more important, it's if I have feel real comfortable, like, you know, listen, I think you got to give credit to the guys in Atlanta. They've done a great job. They've made trades. The guys in San Diego, they made trades, but they keep on bringing in uh, other guys. So to me, yes, I just don't, when you're in a win situation, which is this, when you have the, the like, you know, you, you, you're building your team to win now, you know? Prospects are, and if you feel comfortable with the, if you, the, your scouting staff and recruiting them, you know, you're going to bring in other new prospects. So I'm not, a, I am one of those that when I'm all in, I'm going to give you, not don't get me wrong, there's a limit, but you want to be able to, I am not going to let a prospect give me a chance if I have a chance to win a World Series because those chances do not come along very much. I'm telling you, they, when they come along, go for it.